Okay. Hi YouTube. <laughs> wow. It's been a while. It feels weird even like filming and setting up. You don't want to know how many hours it took to like set up my camera and like I just hope I even did it well to be honest because it's it's been a while. It's been a while. I just have so much to say. At the same time I don't even know where to start from so it's like shoot where's my phone oops i can't find my phone anyway this is like 11 p.m ish in the night i just decided to set up my camera and just talk yeah today's saturday saturday the 12th or 13th or 15th i am not sure at this point but I hope my audio doesn't sound tacky because i'm holding the microphone but anyway whatever 2024 this is october it's funny how this year just flew by a lot has changed a lot has happened from january till october it's been a journey and i'm just grateful to god to be honest because it is by his messes that we are not consumed i've been reflecting a lot recently about like everything in my life a lot of things that have happened you know and i'm just grateful to god you know, sometimes the devil wants to make us feel like we've not done enough or we're not good enough or we should be in better positions than we are now and it just makes you kind of forget what god has done or it kind of like cloud your memory and you start to focus on all the things that you've not achieved rather than focusing on your achievements someone say preach jessica <laughs> anyway for more context i i graduated this year well last year i signed out in december but i technically graduated this year in january because i did we finished our project in january and all of that and results came out in february and yeah by the special grace of god and to the glory of god i graduated with a first class in biotechnology funny i had like first class all through my like my cgpa was a first class cgpa all through my stay in the university so i it was one of like my greatest prayer points like graduate with first class because hmm, the devil tried from my project to result like the devil tried the devil, the devil tried me but mercy said no so anyway i would maybe talk about that story one day about my battles and my struggles and how i ended up graduating with first class but that's by the way i was an a student all through and this is not coming from a place of pride i'm just trying to like give context as to why i said i was grateful and it's october you know i did that and i graduated in january and i got a job that same january crazy i know funny enough i wasn't even searching at that time when i got a job but story for another day i moved to a different city like a different state entirely not even city what am i saying moved to a different state hmm. god is faithful and this same year i decided to go for my nysc if you don't know what nysc is in nigeria all graduates are expected to serve their country for a period of one year well it's about 11 months but for formality sake let's say one year so setting my nysc so yeah i'm a core member <laughs> Feel free to ask questions if you want that if anybody gets to watch this video i'm just trying to just film this i don't know mainly for myself or just for like posterity sake anyway graduated got a job moved to a different city because of my job actually because i got promoted said nysc serving core member while still working at the same time and <sighs> last year was one of the most difficult year i had to go through because a lot happened last year i went through some of the hardest times in my life i think the last video i have on this channel is a video where i talked about how i almost lost my life in november of last year shortly before i graduated last year was just a lot sometimes you know how we humans we always strive for greatness like 
we want more you get a good job you want a better job you want which is good but sometimes we forget to enjoy the moment you know overdwelling or underdwelling on success is wrong you can't overdwell on success okay you graduated with a first class in bsc yeah what's next when are you going for your master's when are you going for a phd or you are a managing director what's next how about owning a company you know all of that and sometimes we forget to just sit and enjoy the moment and then sometimes too we tend to overdwell on success and we don't even strive for greatness because you are where you feel you're doing better you don't think there's somewhere else you can even do even more be more i don't know if i'm making sense anyway those that get it get it what i'm trying to say but but yeah so this is more like an accountability video for me because talking about things that have happened makes me pause and calm down and be grateful for how far i've come despite whatever challenges that i may have faced or may be facing or whatever you know it helps me give gratitude to god and to people even that actively contributed to my life during the course of my journey you know and i'm just grateful to god and i guess this should also be like a reminder for whoever is watching this video it's october we all had new re new year resolutions even though technically i didn't <laughs> but yeah that's what i was saying some of us had like new year resolutions oh i want to do this i want to do that i want to do this i want to do that and it's october and you are like god it's just like what october november december like three months to the end of the year technically two and a half and you are like feeling like a failure like you've not achieved much or you should have done more or you feel like a total failure i just want to remind you that being alive is already like a blessing and count your blessings to be honest you might think you've not really achieve that goal that you wrote down of what you wanted to do before the first quarter excuse me before the first quarter or second quarter or third quarter of the year but look at how far you've come you've done amazing for yourself and there's still like a couple of months to the end of the year and from experience i can tell you that it takes only a day for god to change your life to be honest it takes only a day so anyway as i'm saying this to you i'm also saying this to myself because we all have dreams and aspirations and all of that but yes i miss my mom a lot i miss my siblings yeah god is good oh i went to camp so as i said i started serving my country nigeria i went to camp so camp is this is <sighs> when you sign up to be a core member plus it's like a compulsory activity that every graduate must do every nigerian graduate must do if you if you're a citizen of the motherland this explanation is for non-nigerians please so um and when you sign up for that and you get accepted and all your documents get checked and everything you are supposed to go to somewhere called an orientation camp for the duration of three weeks um you have to present like your medical documents for medical fitness and all of that and if you're medically fit you have to it's compulsory to stay there for three weeks but maybe if you fall sick you could get an exit or um if you're not fit stated in your medical fitness report you are allowed to you'll be exempted from that three weeks of camp but you have to serve your country for one year and that service for one year is for those that are below 30 i'll be 30 and below yeah correct me if i'm wrong but anyway um 30 and below or below 30 like that's from 29 below or 30 below i'm not sure but once you get to 30 you can't save <laughs> whatever so i digress as i was saying um i went to camp and i had no idea i was going to stay for three weeks that was not the plan the plan was to register and out i was not looking forward to the whole three weeks experience funny enough in december of last year before i graduated i watched so many youtube content on orientation camp like i couldn't even wait to go to camp 
you know when you're so excited to do something i couldn't wait to go to camp i watched so many oh pack with me to camp so many videos things to bring to camp this was before i even graduated so you cannot imagine the shock when i lost interest in anything about going to camp or whatever if i had my way i would have even skipped it but i mean i'm physically fit and i didn't want to lie that i wasn't so i went but then my plan was to just collect exit and like just vamos but brothers and sisters brethren i stayed for the entire three weeks let me tell you that was the most humbling experience that i've ever had in my life i should film a video dedicated to my nyc camp experience because it was a lot it was a lot it was a lot watch out for that video i wish someone had told me <laughs> bro i feel like most times the experience is either overrated or underrated overrated in the in the sense a lot of people say oh you have fun you have fun the suffering is underrated the suffering is underrated nobody told me but anyway i don't want to get into too much detail so that happened my plans for the many months of the year i i don't really know to be honest i just hope 2024 ends well for me and for my family i pray that everybody i came into this year with follows me into the year of 2025 and all other years in the mighty name of jesus because i don't want to hear anything about death around my friends or my family or my viewers even you watching this this video here i'm going to just speak about anything that comes to my mind because i'm practically just chatting with you guys at this point or with anybody that wants to watch this oh i celebrated my birthday in june imagine celebrating your birthday without well it wasn't like a new thing for me but ow my leg is cramping i celebrated my birthday in june um without family it was just weird it was just weird i know i've had like several birthdays when i was in school alone but that was different like i don't know how to explain it but this one was just like this one felt like i actually felt away from home now these days i feel like away from home away from home even though where i schooled when i was doing my first degree wasn't the same state as where my parents or my family lived but it was still kind of close but now i just feel like the distance is like i don't know this one is a lot sure well yeah um anything else i want to talk about for now nothing else nothing else anyway like comment and subscribe i'll see you in my next one hopefully soon stay beautiful <laughs> bye guys